So I just arrived at my Airbnb. I'm just going to show you guys around. So this is my workplace. And this is the wardrobe, the bed. Okay, this is so unhygienic. <laughs> this is the balcony. My flight was at 10.45 a.m. I woke up at 7 to get ready to go to the airport. I slept around 5 a.m. and I'm really really tired. I don't know whether you guys can see this but I think there's like a shopping center there. I was planning to go to the shopping center to get my camera charger and also I wanted to get my bank account sorted out and yeah the rain is getting heavier right now not even sure whether I can go to the shopping mall anymore right below this apartment there is bank so I will get my bank account sorted out we'll see whether we can go to the shopping mall later also I forgot to let you guys know I took a taxi from the airport to the city center of Canberra and um, it's quite it's really expensive because the distance between the airport and the city center is not that far it cost me like 28 uh, Aussie dollar which is very expensive I wanted to tell you guys actually I have two phones uh this is the phone with my Malaysia sim card and this is the phone with the Australia sim card The shopping center is actually very near to the apartment. It's just like a less than three minutes walk. The mall have already started to close down at five. So I left the mall and I also bought some essentials. So I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. In the shopping center, they pretty much have everything. It's just, it took me some time to actually find one of these. Like I already told you guys that I forgot to bring one of my bags back in Malaysia And I left my formal shoe in that bag It is important for me to have a pair of formal shoes Because I have to wear it to university with my formal wear It would be weird if I wear my formal wear together with my sneakers So I have to buy another shoe um, This pair of formal shoe I actually wanted to try this but I couldn't find this in Malaysia so I bought the shampoo and also the conditioner I don't know whether this is good or not but it's really cheap so I bought this because my skin is getting really dry after I came to Australia and also I did not bring enough of moisturizer here so I went and bought a moisturizer actually I can also find this in Malaysia I want to try this out because this is actually for this is suitable for sensitive skin and I have a really sensitive skin we'll see whether this is uh, good for my skin or not I previously used the Kiehl's sunscreen and Kiehl's is actually very expensive I decided to buy this I never seen this in Malaysia before I don't know whether this is sold in Malaysia or not but this is quite cheap so I think it's like six dollar or something this one is three fifty dollar the shampoo is actually quite expensive it's twelve dollar for each this is a wax strip I actually need this so I can't care more about the price 
I have to get it anyway. Like we can actually find this in Malaysia also. I really like the smell of this body wash and so that's why I get this. I forgot to bring my tweezers here and this is actually, I consider this as quite expensive because this is $4 which is quite expensive if I convert into Malaysia Ringgit. I need this because my brows is getting very messy here. So I have to like remove all the extra eyebrows. Yeah, to make my brows look more neater. Like it's, it's mostly essentials. I don't buy something extra right now. Because everything in Australia is expensive. And I'm trying to save up some money. I'm actually really really happy that I found this because this means that I can shoot my YouTube video with my camera. I have a dinner plan at 6.20 with my senior. So right now I'm just going to chill and I'm just going to rest for a bit before I have my dinner. Hey guys, I just had oh, I look really tired right now. Um I just have like I just have my dinner with my senior and I'm back in the Airbnb right now. Right now, I'm trying to enroll into my uh, university course. There's five different courses to enroll in, and I've already enrolled into the other four. Currently, I can't enroll into the bridging course, which is required because I transfer from IMU, and transfer students will have to undergo the clinical bridging course. Yeah, I've also managed to access into my student email and I found out that our university will want us to pre-learn something online while we are in quarantine. There is quite a lot of things for us to pre-learn. Although that most of the thing we have already learned in our pre-clinical years, it's been a long time since I uh, revised on all of these clinical skills because I've been doing my research for the past one year and to be honest, I'm too lazy to revise all of this. I procrastinate and I do something else other than like uh, reading all of my lecture notes and all of the and all of the medical notes. Yeah, so I guess I have no choice but to start revising all of this for now i just want to relax and chill for the rest of my night and it's already like 10 30 so like um i'm going to take a shower and i'm going to remove my makeup yeah remove my makeup like my makeup is horrible right now currently camera is free from covid and no one is wearing masks and i am so not used to not wearing masks <laughs> For the next video, I will update you guys on what I do for the rest of my holiday before my university starts. I kind of feel excited and I am also nervous because this is my first time here and I'm not really used to the Australian culture. Like I really don't know how the healthcare system in Australia works but I'm also excited because it means that I can learn something at last and start being useful. I really have to end my video now. I'm feeling really tired right now. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!